Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. The screen has changed. I have done nothing new. Uh, I have done nothing, in fact. This is all an automated procedure. All those percentages are going to come to 100%. The machine will go into a reboot, and then it's going to get to where it is now. So, uh, I would not like to use the express settings. I wish to use the customized settings. And I generally prefer to turn these things off. Aside from consuming system resources, it's just really annoying to actually have them around. Okay, so click on next. And then wait just a moment, <laughs> as the screen says. One moment. Yeah, these moments tend to be like extended periods of time. Okay, so... I don't have a Microsoft account, skip this step, and don't log into your Microsoft account here, because uh, you're going to be testing a keylogger, so yeah. I'm just going to name... Okay, everything is going to be test here. I mean, obviously, you can put it in any username that you want and pretty much any password that you want, so yeah. Put whatever you want there. I would advise you to keep to keep to keep it really simple, because you're using this machine for testing purposes anyway. So it doesn't really matter that much. Lots of great features to get excited about. Hmm, that's what it says on the screen. And there's a changing form of color. Ah. <sighs> I always found it fascinating how it takes so long for a Windows machine to actually boot for the first time after the initial installation, which can be uh, somewhat frustrating, but hey. And once you install Linux, you've installed it. Doesn't matter if it's a first or 10 trillionth boot of the system. Okay, so blah, 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 tra la la. I am excited. Just please let it happen. I promise I'll be excited. Just let it happen. Okay, so getting it's getting apparently it's getting everything ready for us. During the next Microsoft conference here, I will raise a hand that I will ask a question. What on earth is getting is being set up? What is getting ready for me as a user? Like just to give me a list of things that are like that that are, that are basically happening. So what what is there to set up after the installation is actually finished by the system, not by the user? Apparently, a great deal of things. And I got these new chairs in which I'm sitting now. Apparently, they're fascinating. I, I, I I'm just telling nonsensical things. Just waiting for this to finish because I don't feel like cutting it here. Okay, so uh, now we are in the VM. And as you can see, you don't have full screen, but actually you do. So if you click this, these arrows in the top right corner, it will expand to full screen. But now you can say, oh, but look at it, it's ugly. Well, just change the resolution. Go into display settings, right click on desktop, display settings. And... Uh, Sure. Okay, so go into the advanced and then you can select the native resolution of your screen here. So mine would be 1920 by 1080. Apply, keep changes and voila. This is way better than VirtualBox or anything like that where you actually have to go through the installation of additional uh, software and be bothered by a lot of things, etc. Like this, you just set the resolution, that's it. There's no need to actually configure anything else. Uh, now, open up the number one web browser for downloading other web browsers. Uh, feel free to type in, I'm gonna go ahead and download Firefox for myself here, but you can download whatever you want. If you use Chrome, feel free to download Chrome, but I am a Firefox fan, so, and I really like using it. And look at the ad that comes out the moment I search for Firefox. It says Microsoft Edge is the recommended browser for Windows 10. Oh, God. 
and they tried to get you get you with the longer battery life or whatever. Nah, I'm not really buying it. Okay, so free download. And it's gonna happen anytime. Okay, so run. Yes. Install. This shouldn't take too much time. I mean, if you if you want some other browser, feel free to download. The, the requirement is not to have Firefox. You can even use the Internet Explorer if if by some crazy chance you're actually a fan of it. But okay. Okay, so installing. Come on. Uh, don't import anything. Next. Thank you. Yes, I would like to use it as my default browser. Firefox. Thank you. Okay, so now that that is done, Firefox is open. Let's go ahead and close this. And unpin from taskbar. I'm going to unpin the store as well because I really don't need it. I don't think I've actually ever opened it. Uh, pin to taskbar. Okay. So let's just put it to taskbar so it's a little bit easier. Ha. Huh. There we go. So that would be the installation of Windows and the prep work for everything that we will need to do here. Now, next up, we will download code blocks, set up a compiler, and then we will get the code from GitHub for the keylogger, compile it, customize it a little bit before we compile it, and then we're going to write the VBS and the PowerShell scripts, and then we're going to move on to Arduino, and then we're going to actually upload it all to the server, and then we'll move on to Arduino. Okay, so bid you farewell here, and we shall see each other in the follow-up.